Welcome to my home office. In this video, I wanted to look at a recent addition to my office, and that is my wall mounted charging station. I use several wireless devices on a daily basis, and as such, I'm constantly charging, using, and recharging equipment. As you'll notice from my previous posts on this channel, I'm a proponent of the minimal setup, and as such, getting as much floor space and putting things in a set place is essential to my OCD. I also have a lot of projects on the go and efficiency is a must in my day to day. So a charging station that can hold all my in-use equipment like my headphones, current wireless virtual reality headset and charge things like my DSLR battery is a great utility to have. So let's start with the design notes. For a good while I thought about using a pegboard like the ones you find in garages that hold up screwdrivers etc. It was easy enough to pick up a black metal one and then utilize the vast amount of hangers on the market. However, I liked the idea of symmetry with the wall mounted PC on the right side of my monitors and getting the exact size of pegboard to match proved hard to find. It then hit me that I had previously used venting server panels in my self-service virtual reality kiosk. Sure enough, on inspection, the holes were the match for the pegboard hangers I had in my garage. These vented panels would sit as my wall mounted PC does on vertical server rails which in turn would be mounted onto the rails I have lag bolted into the walls. The main power would come from a server power strip below the charging station and access to the outlets would be via a hinged server panel at the bottom. Next I want to look at my daily drivers. Items that I use on a regular basis that are often sitting around me charging. My headphones were easy enough to figure out. I would use a magnetic micro USB connector that snaps on and off to charge them and mount them with a simple hanger that I would design and print in black matte PLA. I decided to 3D print most of the mounts for the more permanent fixings on this charging station for aesthetics and also to prevent damage of any cushioning on the face or headband padding. As I often need to power or charge a random piece of equipment, I also wanted to mount a power strip to the charging station. I found this one which fitted with the aesthetic and had holes that matched the venting panels perfectly. This also works for placing the DSLR battery charger, so my camera is always ready to go mobile. Underneath it, I would install a black metal wire basket to hold anything that was currently charging temporarily. A lot of my devices use batteries, usually the AA or AAA variety. Instead of plowing through hundreds of batteries a year, I have been using rechargeables for a number of years. As such, I wanted to mount a battery charging unit to the charging station. I found this black version from the company I get my rechargeable batteries from, which in turn was easy to mount to the panels using the screw holes on the back of it. It turned out, even when not charging this charger, it had a bit of an annoying green glow, so I added a micro USB switch cable so I could switch the unit off when it wasn't in use. To make cable management super tidy, I went with a 1U brush strip server rack mount panel to pass the cables from the power strip to the equipment. This not only keeps the clean aesthetic, but also stops the cables from falling back inside the charging station. So you wouldn't see all the cables lying behind the vented panels, and also because I didn't want to see the white wall behind them, I added some black painted MDF panels that spanned the height and width of the vented panels. To make sure these stayed in place, I threaded some holes that matched up to the vented panels so the screws that hold them in place would also hold the MDF behind them. And that's it, the latest addition to my home office. I hope you like it as much as I do. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. I have more of these build videos coming as I'm always evolving my office space, so stay tuned. And if you haven't seen them, go back and watch the other build videos, like the one I've linked here as to how I made my desk rise up the wall into a standing system. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.